Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jane of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is July 19th, 2022, Tuesday. The theme of today's devotional is Holding Fast. The scripture is from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 13 through 16. Uh, let me read to 17. But we must always give thanks to God for you, brothers and sisters, beloved by the Lord, because God chose you as the first fruits for salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and through belief in the truth. For this purpose, He called you through our gospel, so that you may obtain the glory of your Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the tradition that you were taught by us, either by word of mouth or by our letter. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and through grace gave us eternal comfort and good hope, comfort your hearts and strengthen them in every good work and word. Amen. Another scripture is from Deuteronomy 13.4. Uh, it is the Lord your, your God you must follow and Him you must revere. Keep His commands and obey Him. Serve Him and hold fast to Him. Amen. Today's story is from Doug who lives in Arizona. Years ago, I served as a counselor for middle school students exploring Catalina Island of the California coast. My responsibilities included monitoring students as they participated in ocean-related studies, as well as chaperoning some snorkeling adventures. One of the amazing things about the waters surrounding the island is the abundance of brown, brown kelp that grows tall and is in constant motion with the surge of waves. The seaweed is anchored to the ocean floor with a special growth called hold fasts. By being the steady force that holds the kelp uh, to the sea floor, hold fasts allow the kelp to stay rooted in storms and grow, grow into forests that provide a place for other sea life to flourish. flourish. In Hebrew 4.14, we are reminded that since we have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess, like a kelp forest. Our faith can serve as our holdfast, anchoring us in storms, and when we Hold on to Christ, we can create an environment where everyone can prosper. Yes. What is your foundation of your life? What do you believe? And what do you rely on in your life? Many people in the world try to rely on their ability, their resources. Whatever they have, they would like to uh, live on the foundation. But as Christians, we have our own uh, foundation. It is Jesus Christ. It is God. It is the Holy Spirit. We are. We believe that God is our Creator, and God loves us so much, and so God is with us, and God gives us the life. And God gives us the chance to live out our lives for God's glory. That is our belief. 
and that is our foundation. People, some people don't find the purpose of their life, but we have our purpose on the background, on the foundation of uh, that is our faith. Faith in God, faith in Jesus. We are called to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. We are here to serve people and to help the world to be the better world as the kingdom of God. So we have purpose. We have our way to live as Christians. That is our foundation. When we root on our foundation, our faith, whatever comes our life, whatever we face, that does not shake our foundation. When we stand on and hold on to God, stay, uh, stay, uh, stand uh, firm on the foundation. We always listen to God's peace, grace, and mercy, and God's care. And we know that we are okay. We shall be okay. However, many people who does not have faith they are anxious when they face uh, tragedies or um, some situations. They are disappointed or try to give up their life because of what they see, and what are uh, what uh, uh, is in front of them. However, we are different. We are frustrated. We have the moment of frustrating. We have the moment of disappointment. However, God keeps telling us, you are mine and you are, uh, I am with you. I will keep you and I will lead you into my way. That kinds of words, God's encouraging words, comforting words, and uh, directions let us be okay and let us calm down and let us see the hope in God. You know what? When kids are anxious, their anxiety uh, grows if the parents have this, uh, if parents are anxious also. However, the kids calm down when the parents are not anxious, but when they are, they are saying, that's okay, I am with you. You see that, and maybe you, ex maybe you experience that kinds of things. Even in others, in married couple, if one person is anxious and the other person is calm, and that calm person gave the peace and calmness to the other, if both, uh, are anxious and that anxiety grows and grows uh, grow and grows more we can be help ourselves through faith when we have God God always calm down and let us have his comfort and uh, assurance so that we can be okay we can have peace in God. And when we have peace in our heart, hearts, we also can help others uh, uh, not to be anxious, not to be disappointed too much, not to be frustrated for certain situations. But we can help them to have hope. We can help them to have comfort and peace in their hearts also. It is possible only when we stand on the faith. So let us have faith. God never give up, give us up. God never gives us up and God never leave us. God is with us and love us and God's care is always with us. Sometimes if we feels we feel that it's late, God's help uh, is a little bit late. No, actually, God is coming to us in perfect place, perfect time, 
in God's sight, in God's time. Let us trust in God. God is our foundation, and we are God's people. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help us to hold fast to your truth so we can withstand the storms of life and help others to flourish. Amen. I hope you have a great day today, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye now.